Hey bosses, it is Monday, my favorite day of the week. Um, hopefully everyone had an amazing weekend. You got time to spend with your families. I know Easter wasn't how anyone planned, but we got through it. It was okay. We still got time to, um, to spend with our families. And um, I actually did a Zoom with my family and... <laughs> I've never done a, a group Zoom like that, so it was definitely different. I was looking a hot mess, but it was just good to see everybody's face and, and all that. So, it's Monday. New week, new day, new goals. So, hopefully, everyone um, had time over the weekend to rest up, um, do some brain dumps, um, just get your planners in order for the week, get your goals written down for the week so we can move forward with this thing. Yes, we're still stuck in the house, but there's so many things that we can still be doing. This week, um, we're going to be focusing on Instagram marketing strategies. So if you're following my um, favorite author page, you know I've started rebranding. I'm sure everybody can tell. <laughs> I've started rebranding. It's coming together. Um, but if you're following my boutique page, follows closet underscore, that's put together. That's put together. I've been working on that page for a whole year now. So that, that page is good. We're good to go there. Um, but my favorite authors page was my personal page. Um, and I'm kind of switching things around. It is still my personal page, but I'm going to be doing more, um, of my biz owner's side slash blog um, on that page as well. So I've started rebranding that page. So it's been a struggle. It's going to be a process. So just work with me. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about Instagram marketing strategies. We're first going to talk about your profile. So your profile should um, always have your company's name or your business name um, for SEO purposes. That way when people Google you or Google your business, um, it will show up in the Google feed. Um, so SEO is important. Make sure that you are using your business name um, as your Instagram account name. <laughs> Uh, then we're going to talk about the, the URL. So you should always be linking your website in your Instagram bio. That is very important. You can also, if you have multiple uh, websites or you do multiple things or whatever, um, Linktree is really good. I have Linktree on my um, favorite authors page because I have different um, offers that I offer there. So on Linktree, you can, link, you can have different links that to go to different places so like i have my um queens of nap book so if you want to buy my book you just you click the link in my bio and it's going to take you to my link tree that has like all of my different offerings on there so it'll take you directly to my book um for my courses i have all my courses on link tree so you can find them that way so if you have multiple urls um just go ahead and put your link tree website in your bio that way people can find all of your stuff okay so make sure that you're showing your personality on your page people like to see who they are purchasing from or who they are listening to so if you're if you're one of those people who are shy like me like i never used to do videos i hate doing videos i just think i look weird on videos but if you're one of those people like me who are shy and um just don't like you know, being in the limelight, then you're going to have to get over it because your people want to know you. They want to know your personality. They want to know what you're like um, and not just posting pictures. So you're going to have to get out of out of the shyness. Trust me, it's hard, but um, the more I keep doing it, the more I keep making videos, the more comfortable I get with it. So um, I still always have my notes. I can't I'm going to put these right here so I don't have to look over here. So I always keep my notes when I do videos because I get sidetracked so much. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like doing videos because I'll start talking about something completely different and lose my whole train of thought. So if you're new to videos, 
write you some notes down that you can that you can um you know keep track of so that way if you do get off topic you can always go back to your notes and pick right back up where you left off from so show people your personality show them um you know you can post family photos and stuff on your business pages just not a lot just enough so that people know and feel like you're a real person that they can relate to that and not just a company trying to sell them something all right, so you're going to um, use your headshot or your logo. So, of course, for my boutique page, I use my logo. For my favorite authors page, I use my headshot. So it depends on what type of business you have, um, which will determine what type of profile picture you will use. Okay, so use that at your own discretion. If you are your brand, if you are the face of your brand, then you should absolutely use your picture, your headshot as your profile picture. All right, um, and keep your bios updated. <laughs> That's a biggie. I actually went on my boutique, my boutique uh, bio and I've had my boutique for four years. So I haven't updated... <laughs> I hadn't updated my bio in maybe three years. It, it had been the same. So I just went and updated the other day. Um, pretty much everything was still the same. My website was still the same. You know, I, I you know, put um, the most important information on there, like shipping is three to five days. Um, and include your hashtag in your bio as well. That way people know when your customers buy, they, they know that to use that hashtag to tag you in their pictures or videos or mentions or whatever. So keep your bios updated. That is very important. Um, for your photos, I already talked about putting um, your face to your brand so that people know who you are and who they're dealing with. So just make sure you're not on your business pages anyway, that you're not putting a lot of photos of you on there because it, then it's going to seem more of a personal page unless of course again you are your brand so say like if you do makeup and you are the face of your brand then that would be perfectly fine to have headshots of you and different you know um using using different makeup palettes or different you know, I don't know much about makeup so <laughs> you see I'm at a loss for words so you know just different faces I guess you know I do know that there's a dramatic face and then there's a like a nude face and you know stuff like that you know so that would be fine to do um make sure that um in your photos you're featuring your customers you're um posting your customer testimonials um you should also have a highlight um for that as well that way when people people want to see you know, they want to read reviews. They want to know if other people have purchased from you and how their experience was. So that that is uh, really big too, to have a highlight on your page just for your customer reviews. That way people, um, oh, my grandson uh, texted me. He's such a cute, well, his mom did. He's, he's only two, but his mom did, but she texted me a picture of him. Um, so yes, um, share your customer testimonials. Um, and I think it's a good idea to have a highlight of them. That way your customers don't have to go searching around or asking people, um, yeah, have you bought from this company before? And blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that part. So um, motivational quotes are a good thing to be posting on your feed. Everybody can relate to motivational quotes. You know, post things that your audience can actually relate to. Um, that way, <clears throat> you're not just posting products on your page and trying to sell them things. You know, you, you got to let your customers and your followers get a feel for you and your personality, as I already said. So depending on what type of memes you post, they know what type of personality you have, right? So motivational quotes are always good. Let's jump into hashtags. Um, so you should be creating or you should already have a brand hashtag. So, of course, my brand hashtag is Flawless Closet. Um, so that way, again, like I said, um, you should put your hat, your brand hashtag in your bio. So when customers are trying to tag you or mention you, they can use your hashtag and you can find those easily. So make yourself a brand hashtag. Make sure your followers and customers know that 
that know to use that hashtag, all right? I mean, once they see it so many times, I'm sure then they'll automatically know, then, okay, this is the hashtag. So, you know, when I get my, or you can, you can just tell them. You, um, also, when you ship their orders, you can, on your um, mail order cards or, you know, your, <laughs> the things that you put in the orders, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, just tell them. Tell them, put a call to action on the on your flyer that you mail out with your orders. You know, hashtag whatever, whatever. Um, let's see. You should be identifying and um, using using relevant hashtags. So I see a, a lot of people that use like like hashtags like cute or summer or. Don't use those hashtags. It's not going to get you seen in the feeds because so many people are using those hashtags that your your content is going to be bumped down within a matter of seconds. So use hashtags <clears throat> that are trending, but not overly trending, if that makes sense. Um, so yes, make sure that you're using specific and relevant hashtags to what you are posting. Have you ever went down... Your, well, have you ever searched the hashtag and then all these things pop up that have nothing to do with the hashtag? It's irritating and nobody wants wants to go through a whole feed of, of hashtags, of pictures that aren't relevant to the hashtag that they were searching for. So don't do that. All right, let's uh, jump into stories. So stories, if you don't know, stories, um, your IG stories disappear in 24 hours. Um, you can use your stories for... Um, new products. You can use them for announcements. You can use them for um, sneak peeks. Um, let's see. You can use them for um, for discount codes. You can put your, you know, do a when you have a discount code or or promo. You can put that in your feed. And if you have over ten thousand followers, you can put you can link your story automatically to your website. If, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so say you you post your um your sales code and then you would um add your website link. So if they swipe up, then it'll automatically take them to your website. So I've I am just now diving into the story. So that's something that I did not know until like a couple months ago. <laughs> So bear with me. So now that I know, I like put it on everything. I I try to put links on everything. So for my courses, I've just now started um using um adding my blog posts to my stories, which is something that I never knew that I can do. So when I do a new blog post, I'll post the picture and a little description and then I'll add the link so if they swipe up, it'll take them directly to my blog post. So um yeah. Uh, also, you could do giveaways on there. Um, you can do contests on your stories. Um, stories are a way to keep your audience engaged. I have noticed over this last, these last few weeks that I've been doing more stories and asking more questions. So I've been using polls. I've been using um, the questions sticker and I'm getting a lot more engagement in my stories by doing that. You know, some people will comment on, on one of the questions that has nothing to do with what I asked, but I don't care because it's still, <laughs> it's still bumping my views up and it's still giving me um, a better rate. Instagram is still gonna rate me on those comments, even though it has nothing to do with what I asked you. So, <laughs> but whatever, keep it going. Um, so yes, that is a good way to get, um, traffic to your page. Um, you can also use hashtags in your stories. You can also tag other um, people in your tags. I mean, in your stories. So you can tag other pages to your story. Yeah. Um, mentions, I just talked about that. Um, so yes, when you do mention a product or a brand or a person in your stories they will get a notification that you did that most of the time they will um reshare it to their story so now you're getting traffic on their from their stories as well so if you're trying to build your page these are all good things that you should be doing okay i know it's a lot um especially to re remember um but 
the more you keep doing it and playing around with it, I've noticed the more I keep playing around with stories, the more better I'm getting used to it and the more I know how to use the different features because it is a lot. It is a lot for someone like me who has never really used the stories or IGTV. So I'm still learning, but as I learn, I'm going to help you guys as well. Because, um, you know, I've been on Instagram forever and these are just things that I didn't know. So hopefully I'm helping somebody uh, with this information. If you didn't know, like I didn't know. All right. Um, so if you, you, does anybody go on desktop and, and, and go on Instagram? Like, I don't know if anybody does that. I mean, there's really nothing that you can do. <laughs> There's really nothing that you can do on there but like and share. I would love if they added the feature to add to add content on Instagram from your desktop. That would be so amazing. But they haven't done that yet. So pretty much all you can do is like, share, um, and comment at this point. So that's about all you can do on the desktop. Um, for videos, you can be offering um, behind the scenes um, or you could be doing a video like this, giving your your followers information and just, you know, helping them along their journey or showing them your journey. Um, you can show them a celebration of sorts. Um, if you reach uh, 15K uh, followers, you know, celebrate with them in your stories. So just give them something interesting and a reason to keep following your page. Um, so... Last topic we're going to talk about is um, linking your social media sites together. So if you have an email list, you should always be having all of your links in your email list. So if people click on your Instagram link, it'll go directly to your Instagram feed. If you have a Facebook business page, link that. Your website should be linked to your um to your emails. Just make this add. Well, I use Mailchimp, so we just add the buttons like I, I set this up like two years ago and it, it just stays there so anytime I send you don't have to do it every time you send an email it will automatically be there at the bottom of your email so you just set it one time and and bam it'll be on your your email um now of course if you change if you change anything your page or whatever or you change your website for whatever reason make sure you go in your uh email and you know, change that so that your customers are actually getting to the to the right content. Um, let's see. Oh, repurpose your IG your IG pictures. If you are actually sitting and creating pictures for your feed, like if you're staying on brand, like I have started to do. So, like all my pictures are like have like a pink, black, or gold background because I'm I'm rebranding. So. You can repurchase those pictures. If you just spent 10, 20 minutes making a photo for Instagram, repurpose those. Post it on Twitter. Post it on your Facebook business page. Now, one thing is if, if you have a lot of followers on the same pages, then you may not want to do that because they're going to probably be tired of seeing the same stuff <laughs> over and over again. But I do know a lot of my followers on my Facebook page are not my followers on my Instagram page. So it's like a totally different audience that um that I'm in front of on Instagram. So I can repurpose my photos. Um and then last but not least, um Add your Instagram name to all of your marketing materials. Like I said, when you mail out your um your orders, make sure that you have a flyer or whatever you use. Have your Instagram name on there because you don't know if they found you on Instagram or not. They could have found you by word of mouth or they could have found you on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So make sure you have your um, Instagram name on your business cards, on your flyers, on any marketing material so that people can... Um, find your page. So like for my boutique page, I do a bunch of um, outfit collages. So I'll put the outfit with the purse and the shoes together. And then I'll put style by flawless closet. So that way nobody can steal my picture. If they do steal my picture, you know, they're who, wh whoever is seeing it will still know that it came from my page. All right. So that is all I have for today. 
for the Instagram marketing strategies that you should be incorporating in your marketing this week. So I may come back with another video on Instagram marketing because it's so much and I know I didn't cover everything. I kind of just skipped around <laughs> on my notes page because it's a lot. It's a lot to Instagram. Um, it can get overwhelming, but just have fun with it. Just have fun. The followers will come if you're putting out good content and you're giving your audience what they came to see because they're following you for a reason. They're not just following you just to follow you. So if you keep them entertained and you keep giving them the things that they need, the follows, the followers will come, the likes will come. So just don't stress too much on that. Just, um, get better with creating better content and getting in front of your audience and the rest will follow. So, all right, guys, I hope everyone has an amazing week this week. Get those businesses booming. Um, yeah. <laughs> if I left anything out or if you have some tips for me, because I'm still learning and I need all the tips that I can get. Instagram is like, foreign foreign to me like i've been on instagram but like it's just it's so different than facebook like my facebook page is booming like i have almost forty thousand followers on my facebook business page so you know i'm used to them i know what they like we interact but instagram is just something different so i'm still learning and growing and if you guys have any tips for me, leave them below. Or if this helped you in any way, leave me a comment below. Let me know that I'm not just talking to myself on here because that's not the goal. The goal is to help all of us, um, you know, get our businesses going and booming and getting in front of people and getting our or getting our brands out there and building, building with each other. So we got this. We got this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching.